he is known for organizing the first lucrative concerts in London, held at his own house. He allowed the audience to choose the music to be performed by paying one shilling. His name is John Bannister. In the vibrant city of London in the 17th century, a musical revolution was about to unfold. At the heart of this revolution was a man named John Bannister, a legendary composer who would forever change the landscape of music. Born in 1630, Bannister's passion for music manifested at an early age. He honed his skills and soon became known for his remarkable compositions. But it wasn't just his music that set Bannister apart. In 1672, he did something truly groundbreaking. He inaugurated a series of concerts at his own house, but what made these concerts truly unique was the way they were organized. For the first time ever, the audience had the power to choose the music that would be performed. All they had to do was pay one shilling, and they could demand any piece they desired. This concept was revolutionary, as it gave the audience a sense of ownership over the music. It allowed them to actively participate and engage with the performances. These concerts quickly became a sensation in London, drawing large crowds and earning Bannister a reputation for his innovative approach. His concerts continued until shortly before his death in 1679, solidifying his place in history as a trailblazer in the world of music. John Bannister, a renowned composer of the 17th century, left a lasting legacy with his remarkable compositions. One of his most significant achievements was his composition for the tragedy of Circe, written by Dr. C. Davenant. This masterpiece was performed at the Duke of York's Theatre in 1676, captivating audiences with its enchanting melodies. The first act of this composition is preserved in manuscript copies at the Royal College of Music and the Fitzwilliam Museum at Cambridge, showcasing Bannister's musical genius. Hashtag continue hashtag in the same year, Bannister collaborated with Pelham Humphrey to create the music for The Tempest. This collaboration resulted in a magnificent musical accompaniment that complemented the enchanting atmosphere of Shakespeare's play. Bannister's talent for composing intricate and melodic songs was evident in this collaboration, leaving a lasting impact on the audiences who experienced the performance. Hashtag continue hashtag Bannister's musical prowess extended beyond these notable compositions. He also co-wrote several songs with Dr. Blow, although the titles of the classic tragedies they belonged to remain unknown. These songs are preserved in a manuscript at the Christ Church Library in Oxford, providing a glimpse into Bannister's diverse musical repertoire and his ability to collaborate seamlessly with other composers. Hashtag continue hashtag throughout his career, Bannister showcased his versatility by composing numerous short pieces for solo violins, duets, and trios, as well as pieces for the lute. His mastery of writing upon a ground bass, a repeating bassline, was particularly noteworthy. Bannister's compositions were highly regarded and frequently featured in contemporary collections of printed music, solidifying his reputation as one of the prominent composers of his time. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.